there we go. Maybe I just had to twist the bottom a little bit to get the battery in place. Okay, will you girls come? You come sit in these chairs. I'm going to talk just a little bit, and then we will get to this so that the water's still warm for you guys, okay? <laughs> Olivia's like, I got it. Give it, I got it. <laughs> okay. Through the sacrament of baptism... Our entrance into the body of Christ through the new birth is given a visible expression. Having been incorporated into God's mighty act of salvation in Christ, we follow him in baptism, publicly identifying with him and testifying to our having appropriated by faith the benefits of the atonement that Christ has provided us in his suffering, death, and resurrection. We join these persons in the celebration of the grace of God in their lives and unite our hearts in praise to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The earliest and the simplest statement of Christian belief unto which you now come to be baptized is the Apostles' Creed, and Adam will have that up on the screen and we can all read through it as the same. Um, I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of the heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitting at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, from thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Church of Jesus Christ, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of body, and life everlasting. Jen, will you come forward? Okay, Jen, I know that you had the benefit of spending some precious, precious time with Grandma Geneva not too long ago and talking through the faith and all that and coming to that point. Um, and I do, I consider it an honor to be part of your baptism today. Um, I'm excited for all you guys. So, Jen, I have a few questions for you. Maybe I need to grab this. Um, Jennifer Sue, that's your middle name, right? <laughs> Jennifer Sue Cowling, will you be baptized into this faith, this faith that we read the faith statement from? Will you be baptized into this, this faith? If so, answer, I will. Do you acknowledge Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, and do you realize that he saves you now? If you do, say, I do. I do. Will you obey God's holy will and keep his commandments, walking in them in all the days of your life? If you will, say, I will. I will. Okay. Jennifer Sue Cowling.
over here for you. Hey, you want to sit down on that? Can you hold it down? Woo! You got it. We had a little, we had a littler step stool, and then you couldn't see their faces over it, so I had to go get a bigger step stool so that the girls could, you could see their faces. Okay. Gracie. We have come to this moment, right? This moment that you have talked about. Gracie, I don't know if you guys know this, but Gracie has been talking about baptism for like the last three, four months? Yes. For quite a while. She has been so excited, and I know that she understands and has fully given her life to Christ. Um, and so I am so honored that I get to be a part of your baptism. I have known you for almost your entire life. <laughs> and so I'm so excited about this. So I'm going to ask you a few questions. Will you be baptized into this faith? Do you believe that Jesus is your Lord and Savior and the King of your heart and Lord of your life? If you do, say, I will. I will. Okay. Do you... Um, Will you obey God's holy will and keep his commandments, walking in them in all the days of your life? If you do, say, I will. I will. Okay, here we go. Gracie May, I hereby baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son. Wait for me. I know that you're excited. I gotta switch my papers real quick. Okay. Um, Olivia, much like Gracie, I am enjoy to watching you grow, and I have known you all of your life. <laughs> I was here when you got born. Okay. Church, I'm gonna ask Gracie some questions, but. I'm also going to ask us some questions, too, okay? Um, our job is not finished with church, right? As in, our job isn't finished with Olivia, and our job isn't fin finished with, great, uh, with uh, Olivia or Gracie, right? We, as a church, gather around and continue to teach them. Um, not only your family needs to be willing to say they will on this, but I'm asking the church to say that they will on this. Um, your, your church family needs to remember that it's part of our duty and purpose to guide all these kids into the life and to the knowledge of, of Christ as Savior. Uh, to this end, it is our duty to teach her the nature um, the the nature and the end of this whole sacrament. Hold on. I knew my iPad wasn't going to be really good around water, um, so I printed it off, and that's my struggle right now. Okay, and I guess I need new glasses. <laughs> and, uh, to watch over their education, that they may not be led astray, to direct their feet to the sanctuary, to restrain them from evil associates and habits as much as in us lies, and to bring her up in the nature and admiration of the Lord. Family and church family, will you endeavor to do so by the help of God? If so, answer, I will. Okay. Now your questions. Is Jesus the king of your heart and the Lord of your life? If he is, say he is. <laughs> well, we'll accept that. <laughs> Will you continue to listen to what he asks and walk where he asks you to go? If so, say I will. Olivia. 
Give you one more round of applause. We're going to celebrate once more.